years a year. Television shows. In my limited experience, shows either improve as they go, or they don't. The Rings of Power is doing a bit of both. I'm having a reasonably good time watching parts of this show, but the main plot line is Galadriel, and that stuff is bowering. It just feels aimless, like an archer who's not aiming at something. It really doesn't help that the main narrative thrust of the series is that Sauron is returning. That's like the one thing we already knew. That's like if they'd made Better Call Saul all about whether or not a bald freak is going to show up. We could call it Where's Walto? The Rings of Power's one compelling question is whether this guy is maybe Gandalf or something. So it's unfortunate that every conversation in that storyline is written like, It's like there's a reason this happened, like, I was supposed to find him. Do you think you're special? You're just a child! Here's the real mystery. Why is that girl named Nori? Peter Jackson already put a Nori in my heart. That's him. That's Nori. Speaking of dwarf erasure, why is the dwarf storyline limited to every other episode? This is fool behavior. Simpleton activity. A moron's plan. All I want is for you to show me my small Scottish freaks with their difficult temperaments and their round features. I love dwarf stuff. You know, contraptions, geometrical armor, that little face flap, that's magnificent. But the real draw for me is that they're the only characters who feel human. The humans certainly don't. Here's what we know about them. They love to buy a round of drinks. Next few rounds on me. <laughs> drinks all round! Their clothes, streets, buildings, and naval vessels are incredibly clean, as if they have never been used. When they see one elf, they think the elves are coming to take our jobs. Elf workers taking your trades! They think this even if the elf came from the sea, which is allegedly always right. The sea is always right. Maybe their traditions falter because their king is the dead grandpa from Stardew Valley. Maybe it's because much of the population doesn't seem to know what they're doing or where they're going. Then again, I don't know how you could live among these characters and not be zoned out 100% of the time. <coughs> what I mean is that most of these characters could really use a clear and compelling motive besides avoid suffering. A Roomba can do that, and it sucks on purpose. Speaking of things that come clean, uh, that's what I need to do as well. Maybe now's not the time. Maybe in two weeks. For now, I'll just say that I watched the fifth episode, and uh, it ends in almost exactly the same spot as the last one. It's kind of insane. We did learn some things this week. Uh, for instance, in this world, it is hilariously easy to sway a crowd with a speech. Like, there's this part near the beginning where Bronwyn is like, We have to fight a war! And the people are like, Yeah! And this old man is like, People die in war, it happens all the time! And the crowd is like, Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I hadn't thought of that. This is the ancient past, so... Maybe speeches had just been invented. 